The greatest investor of all time strikes again. And no, I'm not talking about Warren Buffett. I'm talking about Nancy Pelosi. So check this out. And it's not all of it because if she really knew exactly what was going to happen, uh, um, she probably would not have purchased on her first buy. So from her first buy, she's only up about 0.5%. On her second buy, she's up about 42%. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I want to completely break this down because they only make it look like she's making money on every trade she takes. So Pelosi um, invests in Palo Alto shortly after it corrects. If you guys don't remember, uh, Palo Alto had a very significant sell-off. If we look at this on the one-hour time frame, we could see that from overall highs of 380, we sold off to lows of 260. And if I'm not mistaken, she purchased like on February 11th. So she purchased nearly at, at previous highs. So at a very overbought level. So when this thing sold off, I mean, she was down a significant amount. I think she had about a million dollars that she invested. So think about that. Right off the bat, she's down $300,000. This is a 30% drop. Again, not enough people talk about that. And trust me, I love talking crap, but... All jokes aside, I like to make sure that I'm aware and I want to make sure I share with you guys so you guys are aware of her trade breakdown. So her second purchase, she ends up buying the dip with about $250,000 uh, when it comes down to Palo Alto. Uh, so she does a second dip buy, obviously buys into it, it recovers, it sells off, it goes back to retest. And then the reason I'm talking about it is Palo Alto reported earnings after the market closed yesterday. So today, Palo Alto stock is up 7.1%. And finally, Nancy Pelosi is back overall in the green from her initial buy and, of course, her secondary buy. Her secondary buy was an amazing dip buy opportunity, but she pretty much just was holding on for dear life. The stock sold off 30%. You have to think. It's like, um, you know, she went to go buy the dip, and what if it continued to sell off? It would have put her in even in a worse position. Nonetheless, it's recovered, uh, and she is up, you know, 40% on that trade alone. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of, yeah, she did make a ton of money on that secondary buy with $250,000, probably shouldn't have been a big focus for her anyways, but nonetheless, her initial buy of a million dollars was not a trade that probably went according to plan or an investment that went according to plan. Now it's going back to previous highs. So it's going to be really interesting to see in the next few weeks to, she, to see if she ends up selling the position that she originally bought or her secondary position on Palo Alto and ends up just locking in profits to close out the overall trade. And again, we always track every politician's trades and we send out a free newsletter. If you guys haven't checked it out already it should be the first link in the description down below you guys could subscribe to our free politician trade tracker newsletter and i'd be more than happy to keep you guys up to date um, when we send out the newsletter every single monday uh, with that being said how did my trade go according to the plan well i didn't trade with a million dollars but i did a decent um, job i walked away with seventy six hundred dollars i fully closed out my trade other than my one lucky share and yeah, it was enjoyable. So it was showing signs of lower lows and lower highs, just like I talked to, about in today's earlier video. Uh, but we really didn't until, I mean, not including extended hours, we didn't really see a ton of selling pressure beyond the lows that we made within the first, you know, uh, one hour to an hour and 30 minutes from when the market opened. From that initial sell-off, right, we went from overall highs to overall lows, and the market did consolidate. Like, there was still potential uh, or profit to be made if you're able to properly buy the lows and sell the highs and then cover and then open up short and then cover your short and then buy the dip, go long. But again, that that's thinking that you can catch every reversal perfectly. And that was definitely not the case. The thing that I noticed about NVIDIA is it was pretty much just breaking its green streak. It's been on an absolute rally. And finally today, it ended slightly in the red. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Do we actually break below 125 and begin to actively sell off? Because there is a big gap down potential, but the market's been incredibly bullish. So a lot of people have been asking, what's going to be my focus? I want to see how the market trades during the pre-market session. If we open and we begin to see a break of support and active selling pressure and progress on the downside, then great. I would be more than happy to, of course, short NVIDIA stock. 
but because of how bullish it's been, I can't be surprised if it finds its support and then begins to recover. And then at that point, I can choose or consider to go long. So again, when in doubt, don't be afraid to cash out and never be afraid to give the market the time that it needs to paint its picture for the day. Especially, again, during times like this where we could go either way, it's better to be patient rather than to be sorry. So very happy to be um, you know, closing the day overall in the green. And I hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. I just want to make you guys aware that tomorrow during the pre-market session, Target and Macy's are going to be reporting earnings. And do not worry if you are part um, if you are part of our Learn Plan Profit Group during tomorrow's live trading session, I'll make sure that I talk about how Target and Macy's is trading during that pre-market trading session. So I appreciate your time. I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open. If you guys want to tune in for that live session, that's that second link in the description down below. You can sign up tonight and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow when the market opens. Take care, team.